What recovery email address should I use? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And if this video turns out to be helpful for you, hit thumbs up at the end. Both of those actions help other people find the information they're searching for on YouTube. So what is a recovery email address? Well, it's the email address that you use to recover access to a different account. So for example, you might have a Gmail address and in that account configuration, you might say, oh yeah, I've got this other email address so that if you ever need to prove I am who I say I am, that email address is also me and can be used to prove my identity. Generally, it should be an account that's under your control. Although I have seen some people use the email accounts of friends for this. What's most important, though, is that you periodically make sure that it's working rather than finding out it's not when you need it the most. Let's dive into this in a little bit more detail. So the recovery email address, like I said, is an email address that a, a service will send a message to should you ever need to confirm your identity. Most commonly, it's used if you've got account A that for whatever reason you've forgotten the password to. You go through their account recovery process and one of the options might be to send an email to account B. Account B, which you do have access to, then you can go log into and click on a link or enter a code or do something that says yes. I'm the right person. I have access to account B because I told you about account B when I configured my account. Now you need to let me back into account A and we'll set up a new password and do whatever it is that makes sense to recover the account. The question is, should this recovery account, this account B that I've been talking about, should it be your account or that of a friend? My recommendation, my personal preference is that it be your account. And in fact, that it be an account on a different service completely. For example, um, on your Gmail account, have an Outlook.com account be your recovery email address. Or reverse, right? On your Outlook.com account, have it be a Gmail account that's your recovery email address. Regardless of which you use, make sure that you could log into both periodically. I see here from people who will have set up a recovery email address years ago and then completely ignore that other account only to have it closed for lack of use. Log into it every so often to make sure that it's still working. Now, that's my ideal, that's my preference, that you have two accounts, each of which, for example, might be the recovery account for the other, and you just make sure they're both working periodically. It's certainly acceptable, and it's certainly better than no recovery account at all, to have both of the email addresses on the same service. So you could have two Gmail accounts, for example, each acting as the recovery for the other. My preference, however, is that it be on a different service because that actually isolates you from a couple of additional compromises that if all of your Gmail accounts get compromised at once, you're out of luck. Whereas there's a slightly lower probability that both your Gmail account and your Outlook.com account, for example, might get compromised at the same time. And again, I'm using Gmail and Outlook only as examples. This really applies to whatever email accounts you might be using, be they Yahoo or ProtonMail or something else. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using Gmail and Outlook as probably the most common, most popular email services that people might be using that do in fact use alternate email addresses for recovery. Can you use the email address of a friend? Well, yes and no. You have to really trust the friend. If you set up a recovery email address and you set it up to be someone other than yourself, then you're essentially giving that person the ability to hack into your account at will. They can at any time go through the I forgot a password pass on your account and since theirs is the recovery email address, they would get the email that says, yep, I'm who I say I am, which of course they are not, and allow them to set a new password on your account. Generally, it's not appropriate. The people who are your trusted friends today may not be your trusted friends five or 10 years from now. It happens. On the other hand, I have to be completely honest. I am the trusted account for my wife's account, for example. 
uh, figure after 40 years of marriage, we're probably okay. But the bottom line is that there are still scenarios where it can make sense for another individual to actually be the recovery email address for your primary account. Another good scenario might be parents being the recovery email address for a child's account. But the bottom line is for the most security, you really want it to be an account that you have, an account that you continue to control and use regularly just to make sure it will always be there when you need it. Hope that was helpful, perhaps informative. For the article on which this video was based, for updates, for related links, for comments, visit askleo.com slash 127155. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.